the Beechcraft 1900D. I'm sure you've flown this plane in flight gear, but do you know how to use its autopilot? Let's see how that works. By default, when you activate this plane's autopilot, it will be set to the roll and pitch mode. It will level the plane's wings and fly with a perfect zero degree pitch. You can then use these up and down buttons to make the nose go slightly more up or down. Or enter a custom value here in degrees to control the plane's pitch. Slightly more on the right, you'll find the roll knob. This does exactly what you might think it does. It allows you to control the banking angle of the plane. Setting it to a negative value will make the plane bank left and setting it to a positive value will make the plane bank right for up to 30 degrees both ways. But maybe you want your plane to for example hold a specific heading. You can simply do this by pressing the heading button and entering the heading you want your plane to fly to in this box. Same goes for the altitude hold. Simply press the ALT button and enter the altitude you want to hold. Sometimes this ALT button doesn't do much. In that case, use the ALT S button. I didn't know the difference, but it works anyway. If you want your plane to just climb or just descend, there are two buttons for that right here. This plane also has a speed hold. I have yet to find a way to make it work though, but of course you can give it a try and see if it works for you. You can activate it by pressing the IAS button and entering the speed you want to hold in this box. And of course, this plane's autopilot can help you out on approach. The best way to intercept an ILS glide slope is to fly at about 2000 feet above the airport's elevation and coming in from an angle like this. The roll mode is nice to control this angle. When you're kind of close to the glide slope path, press the approach button in the cockpit and watch how your plane intercepts the glide slope perfectly. I do recommend you to switch off the autopilot as soon as you have the runway on visual though, as the autopilot tends to descend too fast if you try to slow your plane down. I hope you now know how to make the BU-1900D fly automatically and I hope to see you back next time for the next episode of Flight Care How To.